Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hide, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, the Hunter. Welcome back to the Baseball Hide. Hopefully you like this video and hit that subscribe button. Before we get to this, again, if you're not on X, you're not on Facebook, this is the channel you want to subscribe to if you're on YouTube, if you're a Mets fan, or even if you're a baseball fan, I get you all the information you can possibly get on the Mets. I've been doing a lot of videos with a lot of new people writing to me, a lot of new subscribers on here. And we're, we're charging towards the July 30th trade deadline. And we're hoping to get to 5,000 subscribers very quickly. This is from uh, SNY.TV. As you know, the Mets have needs at the, at the trade deadline. Um, I, I've been talking a lot about the bullpen. I thought that they could use another outfielder on this club. And um, we're going to see what they do because we want to see the Mets win. If you're a Mets fan, you want to see the Mets win. It's all the Mets. And we know... That the Mets have needs with their bullpen in particular. Now here's the headline. Mets expected to have relievers in an otherwise modest trade deadline. The trade deadline is set for July 30th, which is a week, uh, less than a week from now. And this is written by little Andy Martino, MLB insider. The Mets were never all that likely to thread the needle by buying and selling the trade deadline, subtracted from rotation depth in order to add to the bullpen or outfield. But now... Christian Sky's out of an elbow injury. The team is highly likely to keep all of its major league starters going to a personal knowledge of their plans. At this point, the Mets would have to somehow acquire another starter in order to feel comfortable moving, moving with. And why would they do that rather than stick with Jose Quintana and Sean Mania? The most likely strategy for the Mets would be to acquire a reliever or two on deadline day, July 30th, without sacrificing significant prospect capital, sources say. Could a massive winning streak between now and then make the front office more aggressive in trading prospects? For win now uh, veterans? Maybe. Could a terrible losing streak convince them to sell a few pieces? After all, anything is possible. But nearly four months of baseball have clarified the Mets are a playoff caliber team. I think we all know that. I mean, they played really well. Not inclined to drift too far above or below 500. Their most obvious need is in the bullpen. And the trade deadline is one way to address that. And the thought is, it is not the only way. President of Baseball Operations, David Stearns, could trade for the person who gets high leverage relief outs in September and October. Or that person could end up being Tyler McGill. David Peterson or Jose Budo. Bullpens are so fickle that it's hard to predict whether the Mets' eventual acquisition would be more impactful than their internal candidates. And while it's fun to turn up scenarios, scenarios, but Stearns pulls off a more dramatic move, say a package, built around a Brett Bade for a player with name recognition like Chaz Chisholm Jr. Stay away from him. Uh-uh. If you're any team, stay away from him. He will kill you, season. Or Mason Miller. Sources say no such creative deal is currently under consideration and is unlikely to happen. Oh, and obviously the idea of trading Pilonzo has been off the table for a while. Early in the season when the Mets appeared to be sinking, the front office knew that it would have to consider moving rental stars like Alonzo, Luis Severino, and J.D. Martinez unless the team turned the season around. And what happened after that, the team turned the season around. Thank God. Thank God the Mets turned the season around. That way we can talk about trades to help the team and, and have fun uh, the rest of the season. Uh, this has been a very uh, up and down season, as you know. And the best part is, uh, the best is yet to come. So, now, what are they going to do? I'll throw a couple of names out there that they probably could do with the Cubs. It seems like the Cubs are going to be uh, selling. Uh, one of my subscribers, whose, whose name is A Prodigy, mentioned two players. One is an outfielder, and that's Mike Taupman and, and the pitcher, Drew Smiley, who's a left-handed pitcher. Mets need a left-handed reliever in that bullpen in the worst way. Someone that isn't a disaster like Jake Deek. Men has been uh, over the first first half of this uh, season. But those are two names to keep an eye on with the Mets. So just keep that in mind. That's something that was mentioned to me earlier today, earlier on Tuesday, and I thought that was interesting. I wanted to uh, send credit to what credit is due one of my great subscribers, A Prodigy. And I want to thank him, and I want to thank you for watching. And again, if you're not on X, you're not on Facebook, this is the channel you need to subscribe to. So thank you, and I'll see you later.